I am admonishing and counting, calling on all the citizens of Kogi State. It's an exercise, not a fight. Go out there, present your PVC, cast your vote peacefully, and then return back home, or stay within the perimeters that was being provided by the law enforcement agencies. Then watch and observe as the results have been collated and announced from polling units down to the state level. The, I will urge all the people of Kogi State that they should not take laws into their hands as law enforcement agencies have been charged to do their job. And I equally call on my supporters not to perpetuate any violence anywhere, because he who commits violence will face the full wrath of the law. On his part, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Musa Wada, said he was satisfied with the conduct of the poll in his ward and hopes that the same atmosphere would have been replicated in other areas. However, he explained that there was a mix-up in his voting number, which necessitated his movement to another centre to resolve the matter. My voting number was not on that side. I had to come here to sort out where, because I'm 1409, I eventually saw my name here. And that's how to vote uh, in another polling point. The candidate recognized it fast, and I think and hope if it continues this way, we'll have a very fair election in Ward 1 here. Well, uh, everything is too early, but it's too early for me you, to know because this miscreants just come like thunder. But I've told the prospective voters to be vigilant. I was telling them to make sure they vote, stay, and ensure their vote counts from polling unit to the coalition centre. Because we believe and we heard that the results at each local government coalition centre will be announced there. So I told them to sacrifice today by being vigilant to ensure that their vote counts in the interest of uh, the democracy. He said Natasha Akwoti has expressed satisfaction. Well, she says the exercise, uh, she talked about the exercise in her polling unit where ballot box was reported to have been snatched by thugs. Uh, she said there was every reason to doubt the credibility of the process in the light of the reported violence at that centre. What does this mean? The uh, situation in Kogi State is extremely tense. There's been a series of um, violence, and um, it's actually escalating right now. The peak of it was um, yesterday when we woke up to the news that the SDP State Secretariat was being burnt down, and the manner in which it, that event happened is actually most worrisome. If we in Nigeria keep saying that we're not happy with the way the status quo is maintained and we want a better Nigeria, we want a more responsive policing system, more responsible, more responsive judicial system, then it's left for people who occupy these positions of authority to reach down into their soul and I do what is right. The, the policies are there, the rules are there, the guidelines are there, the orders are there. So why not implement 